Basically, uh, Jumping Bean's a local coffee roaster. We do more than just coffees, we do teas, and we do specialty foods, and uh, we're a full distributor for cafe supplies and equipment, uh, equipment as well, rest machines and the like. Yeah, I started, uh, I bought the roaster, um, it's my first roaster, uh, locally, and ended up just uh, find a building and started a start business very small. So anyway, it grew into, uh, it kept growing and growing and growing. We initiated that uh, fair trade was not a go and uh, were as prevalent when we started. And so we were one of the first fair trade uh, companies in the city for doing the lease for coffee anyway. And that's pretty well, you know, from there it's been a long history since then. So. What made you interested in, in trying to set up a fair trade uh, uh, coffee manufacturer in St. John. Yeah, well, I guess, like I said, it was, uh, it was an easy choice for me, really. I mean, <laughs> if we're going to do coffees, why wouldn't we do fair trade? So, it was a fairly easy choice for me. It's not it's an old brand. What about fair trade is beneficial? Fair, well, fair trade uh, is an easy choice, number one, but the commodity of coffee is traded pretty aggressively and there's countries that uh, don't have uh, standards in place, like in Canada we've got work, work in health and safety standards. A lot of these countries, like I said, it's, uh, it's you know, uh, below, a lot of them live below the poverty line, I guess, and so it was an easy choice. Normally, in, uh, in the fair trade world, it eliminates uh, forced labor or uh, something called slave labor or whatever. So basically it also puts age limits on before you can, you know, go and actually be sent to, you know, process coffee or take it be involved in the processing of coffee, right? Um, it also has a sustainable method, so they use a lot of sustainable methods. Uh, that helps the, obviously, the coffee crop itself and also helps the, uh, the, the community. Uh, your coffee, uh, when you manufacture it, uses 85% less CO2, yes. uh, CO2 emissions than yeah. when uh, other coffees are made. Um, what are some measures you guys uh, use to ensure that, you, that you're polluting less and, and, and emitting less uh, carbon dioxide? Yeah, like I said, well, uh, coffee is pretty well, the traditional ways of roasting coffee is uh, uh, there's a ton of heat that's put into the system and there's a ton of uh, CO2 is exhausted out of the system uh, from traditional roasters. So we had a cho when we did a, our last round of expansions, we had an easy choice to make again. I was going to go and do a new tech, or I was going to do a new roaster. Why not use a new technology? So that was in turn why I chose a. Uh, there's a piece of technology that does uh, heat recovery, so it takes back the heat and recycles it through the system, and we're able to do that through through 85% of the process. And we've done some other things like um, basically we've taken the byproduct out of the coffee and made it into wood pellets oh, for wow. fuel. So we so cool. try to reuse uh, reuse as much of that as possible. Um, we've also looked at doing biodegradable bags for our. our uh, whole bean coffees as well as our fracture packs is something we've been working on as well. And my intent was to try to create the perfect coffee, right? Fair trade organic and um, uh, equal friendly and a water variable bag that was in the tent right. So once you achieve that there's not much else I can do to the product so you know it's done. So it's all coffee in Newfoundland has been roasted in New in Ontario primarily. All our commercial coffee that's done in government offices and we're trying to change that. I mean there's, a, there's like a secondary processing. There's no reason this shouldn't be done in Newfoundland and on a, you know, in a green way. Even though retail exists here in Newfoundland, manufacturing jobs are what we need, right? Mm -hmm. And we are a man, uh, secondary material, a manufacturer of what we are. And uh, that's what people need to understand, is that every cup or bag that they buy from uh, Jumping Bean, or we sell through numerous cafes, numerous uh, other retail locations, but anybody that's buying local coffee, or support manufacturing jobs in Newfoundland. Not just front-end retail jobs, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why they need to drive the industry and drive the, drive the economy.